Carly Gregg, a 15-year-old from Brandon, Mississippi, has been sentenced to life in prison after being convicted of fatally shooting her mother and attempting to kill her stepfather. The tragic events unfolded on March 19, 2023, when Carly, then just 14, used her mother's gun to commit the acts. The court heard harrowing details about the shooting, which highlighted not only the violence, but also the complex psychological issues that Carly faced in the lead-up to the tragedy. On the day of the shooting, prosecutors detailed how Carly retrieved a 357 Magnum from under her parents' mattress before confronting her mother, Ashley Smiley, in her bedroom. In a shocking act, she shot her mother three times. The aftermath was equally disturbing. Shortly after the shooting, Carly invited a friend over and nonchalantly asked if they were squeamish around dead bodies before leading them to her mother's lifeless body. This chilling revelation raised questions about her mental state during the incident. Carly's defense team acknowledged that she had killed her mother, but argued that she was experiencing a severe mental health crisis at the time. A child psychologist testified that Carly had been showing symptoms of depression and had a history of self-harm. The psychologist noted that she had reported hearing voices, which had worsened leading up to the shooting. This mental health context was a significant part of the defense's strategy attempting to establish that Carly did not fully comprehend her actions. Despite the defense's arguments, the prosecution maintained that Carly was aware of her actions when she committed the crime. They argued that she knew the difference between right and wrong, asserting that her behavior before and after the shooting indicated a calculated decision. During the trial, the jury deliberated on the evidence, ultimately finding her guilty on all counts, including first-degree murder, and attempted murder. Following the verdict, Carly was visibly emotional, facing the reality of her life sentence. The court's decision reflects the severity of her actions, but it also underscores the need for understanding the mental health challenges that contributed to this tragic event. Carly's case has sparked discussions about the intersection of mental health and juvenile justice, raising awareness of the complexities surrounding youth offenders. As Carly Gregg begins her life sentence, her case serves as a poignant reminder of the tragic outcomes that can arise from untreated mental health issues. It highlights the importance of providing adequate support for young people struggling with psychological problems, aiming to prevent future tragedies. The case will likely continue to resonate within discussions about mental health resources and the legal system's approach to juvenile offenders.